Okay, here we have the, the chipmunk in the Canadian colours, all the way from Vietnam. So here we have some of the uh, outside specification. The two colours it's available in, the yellow and this one is in the matte finish khaki colour. And uh, here we have the actual address where it's made in Vietnam. So it's come a long way already. Now that's the size of the box. It uh, half fills my lounge. The uh, undercarriage doesn't retract, but the wheels actually have LED lights on them. Made by Seagull Models in Vietnam. If you go online you can see the lady who runs the factory, I think. Okay, this is with the lid off. All the items come packed in this plastic and they're stapled to the sides to stop them moving in the box. Uh, they've got here in good condition. Here we have the, the tail piece. Okay, manual. Plus an extra sales brochure with all the other various models they make. There's quite a collection there. So we have the, the wing with the decals and the Canadian maple uh, actually shown. Ah, oh, not on there. That's interesting. I thought there was Canadian maple on the decals. That's the um, wing. This is the tail piece, the elevator. Um, the hinges are all inside and need to be glued with super glue. And you need to fit your own servos. These are the holes for the um, elevator and flaps servos with the cotton in there so you can pull your wires through. It comes with the tape to stop it uh, falling apart. But there we have the English uh, decal. This is the Canadian version. Now we have the box here which will reveal the, um, the main body. There we go. I've moved a few things around. Um, here we have the, uh, the wheel covers. Okay, this is the fuel tank actually while I have it, uh, if you've got the petrol 20cc motor. So we've got the pilots, one, hand painted apparently, two, two pilots, and this is the uh, engine decal. Now the picture showed a hole which I was concerned at, which is nice because this model is going to have the electric motor and doesn't have the hole in the side which is good so uh, I'll show you with the covers off a bit later and then we've got various bags of all the screws front nozzle and uh, wheels even, the wheels are in there the uh, push rods uh, and the clips are all in this bag so all the rods are made up <coughs> we've got the conversion for the electric which is what I'll be using an old wooden plate, a uh, centre pole that goes between to hold the wings. These are the very sturdy metal finished uh, wheel mounts under carriage. So that's the stuff in there. This is the main body. Now uh, it looks lovely. Here we go. Now there's a. These um, screws I've put in here, these are what hold the. Uh, top cover on, there's four of those, so they probably fall in sooner. I'll show you this unwrapped in a second probably. So there we have the inside of the box. Not bad. There's a lot of work to put together I think. But there we go. That'll keep you busy in this windy uh, morning.
not. This is the prop. I bought a, well I didn't actually bought, buy this. The guy who took delivery of the, mo the plane for me, the local dealer, he gave me this 16 uh, inch dash 10 um, prop. I thought I'd try a wooden one. He just said give it a go. It's obviously the prop size might not be the right. He says just pack it out. Um, 